Hey everyone, as mentioned in previous videos, my name is Joe Howe. I'm a manager at Crypto Tax Girl. And today I wanna to walk through and show you how to handle a scenario where you might have a negative balance showing on an exchange or wallet that you've loaded into coin tracking. And I'm gonna be doing this on coin tracking, but you can take the framework that I give you here and apply it to any other crypto tax software that you are using. So negative balances will show up sometimes whether you've loaded it via API or CSV. And that's just gonna tell you that the data is not accurate and you need to look into it further. So a lot of times with APIs, for example, APIs will pull through a duplicate or they'll just completely miss a transaction. And so you'll have to go and find that transaction and manually add it. So let's jump in and look at an example here. So this is the main dashboard page of coin tracking. I'm gonna go under reporting to balance by exchange. And this page shows me every exchange and wallet that I've loaded in and the balances based on what was loaded in. So this page is great to, to point out red flags when you need to look into something more. So once we get to the Coinbase account right here, as you can see, there's a negative 0.48 Bitcoin balance. So that's a red flag telling me, hey, you gotta dive deeper into this Bitcoin balance and fix that before you actually pull those final reports because if you don't, your reports are gonna be inaccurate. So we need to dive deeper into this. I know you probably see this negative USD balance. Ignore that the Coinbase APIs, a lot of the APIs do not pull in when you deposit US dollars into an exchange. So you'll have a negative USD balance that shows up. But for the purposes of this exercise, we are going to look at this negative 0.48 Bitcoin balance on Coinbase. Now. The first thing that I do when I'm trying to find out why there's a negative balance is I will go to the enter coins page. So right here, you can just click enter coins and you could also do this under the trade list page, either or works, um, but I'm going to do it in the enter, enter coins page. Now, what I want to do is isolate the problem, right? So we know this balance is on um, Coinbase and we know it's just a Bitcoin negative balance. So I'm gonna do an advanced search here and under exchange, I'm going to type in Coinbase and then I'm gonna isolate just to the Bitcoin transactions. Then what I can do is take a preliminary check through this transaction list and just see if anything sticks out to me. And typically what I'm looking for at this stage of the process is a duplicate transaction pulled through by the API. Um, so I'll do a quick scan through here you know, I'm not seeing anything just off the bat that screams, oh, there's a duplicate transaction right there. Delete that, it'll clear up the negative balance. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a deeper dive and I'm gonna actually export this as a CSV so I can look at these transactions a little bit more in depth. And I'm going to put these in a Google Sheet. You can do this in Excel, um, whatever program works best for you, but we just need to be able to um, look at this data a little bit differently. Now I'll just do some quick formatting. I'll freeze the top row and add a filter on the top row. And the whole purpose of this exercise is to figure out when that balance goes negative because that might give me a clue as to what transaction is missing or where the error is, right? So I just want to see Bitcoin on both sides of the transactions. So I'm going to isolate Bitcoin on the buy side and on the sell side. So here we're gonna filter out Bitcoin and we're gonna delete everything else. So now on this buy side, all I have is Bitcoin and then on the sell side, I am also going to isolate just the Bitcoin. We'll delete out all this other stuff. Whoops. And we can actually delete out all the fees as well. So. Now what we're left with is just Bitcoin balances on both the buy side and the sell side. So now we can use this report to figure out exactly when that balance goes negative and that will help us know where to look for the missing transactions or the errors that we're trying to find. So I can just do a quick scan through here and, and again just to you know give you a better idea of what I'm doing. I'm just adding up the amount of Bitcoin that was purchased versus the amount that was sold or withdrawn or spent, right? And so right here you can see 0.062 was purchased, 0.02 goes out. 
So if we just kind of go through the, the whole sheet like that and try and figure out where that negative balance happens, that can help us figure out the problem. So up to this point, 2.4 has been purchased and 2.02 has been sold. So we're good there. Um, and we just kind of go through the report and I'll, you know, to make this easier, what I'll do is I'll insert a row and then I'll do the sum formula for everything above that line. And I'll do that here. So at this date, we've purchased 5.27 and only sold or withdrawn 4.18. So we're good there. And I'll just kind of go down a little bit further. I think the negative balance probably happens when this 1.5 um, Bitcoin is traded. So I'll insert a row here. I'll do the same thing, sum everything above. And boom, as you can see here, 5.68 Bitcoin has been sold at this point and only 5.44 has been purchased. So the date here is June 12th of 2022. So this just tells me that the error happens before that date. And my guess is it would be somewhere around this transaction. So the next step of this process, and first I'll just highlight this so I know this is the transaction that sends the account negative. Now, the next step of this process is to actually go and grab a raw data CSV from Coinbase so I can compare to what I'm seeing here to see what is missing. Now, just really quickly, if we want to get a CSV from Coinbase, you know, you'll log in, click your little picture, go to reports, and then under transaction history, you'll click generate report, and then CSV report, you'll click generate report, it'll load, and then you can click download here. Now, of course, if your negative balance happens on a different exchange like Gemini or Binance US or maybe a ledger wallet that you're using, you'll go to that actual source, pull a CSV right out of there and use that data. Now I've got the raw Coinbase data in here and I can compare that to the data that we pulled out of coin tracking and that's going to tell us where the error is or what transaction is missing. So if you'll remember in the data that we pulled out of coin tracking shown here, the negative balance happened with this transaction that happened on 6-12-2022. So in the Coinbase file here, that's where I want to target. That's where I want to start my search. So again, with the Coinbase data, as we did with the data we pulled out of coin tracking, I just want to see Bitcoin transactions. So I'm going to filter this stuff down and I'm going to untap the Bitcoin transactions and then I'm going to delete everything else. And now all I'm left with are the Bitcoin transactions that happened on Coinbase. So as I said, I'm going to go down towards that date of 612, which is right here. And we'll just kind of start around that date. So a month earlier, we bought 0.032. So here's that purchase of 0 0.032. So that checks out, bought 0 0.104, 0 0.104, that checks out, bought 0 0.016, bought 0 0.016, that checks out, bought 0.5 on 6.9. So I don't see that transaction in here, right? And even if I go back to you know the Enter Coins page, Six nine, I'm not seeing a purchase of 0.5 Bitcoin. So that to me tells me, boom, that's our missing transaction right here. So I'll highlight this in green because if you also remember, the balance was off by 0.48. So if I add in this purchase of 0.5 Bitcoin, that's gonna fix my negative balance and get me right on track. So in order to do that, what I'll do is on this enter coins page, I'll do a new transaction. So we're gonna add a transaction and we purchased 0.5 Bitcoin. And then I'll look to the CSV for how much we purchased it for. So on the right here, you can see bought 0.5 Bitcoin for $15,100. So I will put that in here, USD. And then we'll put the exchange as Coinbase. And I'll put manual input, 
missed by API. Just so I know when I come back, maybe a year from now and I see that transaction, I know why it's there. Um, I know the API missed it and that I put it in. Another good reason to put this comment is sometimes APIs will later refresh and pull this transaction through. So you'll have a duplicate transaction and then you'll be able to see that right away. Oh, I manually added this and then the Coinbase API actually pulled it through at a later date. So it's really important to add that comment just so you know why this transaction was added. Oh, and lastly, we'll put the correct date. So this happened on 2022-609 and we should be good to go. We'll add that transaction. As you'll see, it popped up right here now. And then if we refresh our balance by exchange page, boom, negative balance is gone. If this is my Coinbase account and you know I know the balances of my Coinbase account, okay, 0 0.018, that's spot on. I know I don't have anything missing. So super important that you go through this process if you do have negative balances because like I said in the beginning of the video, if you don't fix those negative balances, the reports that you pull out of this software or whatever software that you're using they're going to be inaccurate and most likely you're probably going to be paying more in taxes than you should be because you'll be missing the cost basis of certain transactions. So if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be releasing a lot more videos over the coming months and years. Um, and if you need help with this process or any of the processes that you're going through while reconciling your account, please feel free to reach out to Laura or myself or schedule a consultation with us. Um, and then lastly, if you wanna check out our course, you can do that as well. I'll link all that stuff in the description. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys ever need help, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you.